Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Comics Pals Image Reviews. Every single week, Image Comics sends us their books ahead of time so that we can provide you with reviews day and dates. Today, I am joined by Marco. What's up? And Kale. What's up? <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to be talking about two of Image Comics' biggest uh, books this week. We've got New Burn number two. And Primordial, number four. Nice. Um, for those of you who are Spawn fanatics, unfortunately, for whatever reason, Image restricted access to King Spawn 5, uh, and we wouldn't be able to read it until it's actually out already. Um, and just the way our recording schedule works, we wouldn't be able to include that here. So unfortunately, we can't do that one for you guys this week, but we will keep up with whatever Spawn books they allow us to keep up with would um, we um would we read that for potentially the uh thursday one that's a thought we could do that we could do that stay tuned maybe we'll yeah see. uh but how you can support the show if you are so inclined make sure that you leave us a follow a rating and a review wherever you listen to us if you have not yet done so youtube.com slash the comics pals to subscribe to our channel help us get to 500 subscribers and beyond like the video share it with your friends drop us a comment which you guys are fantastic about if you want to hear your comments read on the air listen to our main show the comics pals which drops every single monday we read comments from discord our email g uh the comics pals gmail.com youtube social media wherever you comment we will see it and we will read it live on our main show thank you guys so much for the support as always let's dive right into new burn number two this is by chip sadarsky and jacob phillips jacob phillips of course being the son of sean phillips i believe right yes yeah yep. someone said that yeah yeah um and then there is a backup story called Bro Brooklyn Zirconia by Nadia Shamas uh, on the oh, writing respect. duties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ziyad Yusuf Ayub on art and Frank Zvetkovic on letters. Hopefully I got those correct. Um, you know, I, I, I got to say, I enjoyed this issue a lot less than the first one. I don't know why. I think for me... I was just thinking about it, and I think the thing is, like, he solves the mystery, but the book isn't about the mystery. Right. It's about Newburn, but we don't really get any de any details on, like, the stuff that's at hand. Mm. The mystery is definitely in the back in the background and is a vehicle for moving forward yeah <clears throat> yeah it i think it also showcases his character a bit more playing off of another character and he just kind of comes off as an asshole um and that turned me off a little bit to his character because like reading the diary i'm like all right dude like get it all right um i think to your point kale it doesn't uh, because it's not forefront, like the the mystery necessarily. We're just kind of going through the motions, and that's what it felt like for this. This felt yeah. like we're just we're going through what solving a mystery looks like and all that. And so for me, it felt very linear. Um, it even felt the same, like the same mystery as the last book. I don't know what the mystery was in that one. He's got a he he's got to look at some uh pictures of you know the yeah. the archive or whatever and the the crime scene and he's gonna notice somebody that's there and oh he'll figure it out yeah this felt like kind of like almost an addendum to the first issue rather than an issue yeah. that exists on its own merits it was shorter than the average comic uh because the page count is actually um it, it includes the the brooklyn zirconia story or whatever mm. so this one was only like 19 pages or something like that and it feels like that it mm, doesn't yeah. feel long at all um and that is unfortunate because i by the time i started to kind of like get into the rhythm of the book it was over basically mm -hmm. um 
and I don't know. I just every every element felt like a slight downgrade from the last one. I still like the newborn character. I like the general concept of who he is and what his role in, you know, in this sort of crime world is. It's cool, but I just felt like I needed more. And this wasn't that more. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also all the scenes kind of felt kind of like disconnected i don't know i just i had a really hard time getting into this comic book for some reason Hmm. um not that it was bad by any means i don't think chip zdarsky is capable of producing a bad comic book but um even on the art front i i wasn't as into this artistically like i'll just point out on page 15 there's the panel where new burn is fighting that one guy and i just don't think it looks very good like when he's dodging the guy's punch, it, it doesn't it doesn't look I don't know, it looks really, really stiff. And even the way Newburn is dodging, it doesn't look like he really dodged it. It looks like he was gonna get punched in the head. Um sure. okay, yeah. Um yeah, just I don't know. I, I had I had some problems with the art. Definitely more stiff. I d I don't think it uh I don't think it was like a downgrade from the last issue, but I do think that there are moments where it just doesn't feel too dynamic. Mm. It feels, um, yeah, like th- there's even a few where they're just standing around and people feel blocky. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I, I didn't like how, cause it, it felt like the, the last issue was okay. Now Emily's in the picture and we're going to bring her and loop her into this, but he was just kind of pointing her into like, okay, you got to do this. And like, he, it feels more so like an assistant role and less so somebody who is now a partner and being integrated into the work that Newburn does. Mm. And I thought that was uh, a poor use of Emily's character because she was so gung ho and part of it in the last issue. And now she just kind of like, oh, go do this. It's like, okay. Report back. Okay go do this report back. It, it just, it, it didn't feel as engaging. Yeah. And I think a longer narrative would have helped that a little bit, because if you can think of this mm-hmm. as like an episode of a TV show, for example, uh, she would have expressed that feeling that you're talking about. Cause I do think that's intended. I think you're supposed to feel like that. Um, but she would have expressed that. And that would have been a part of the dialogue and it would have felt like it gets to a place of resolution because there's more time. But this issue having so few pages, it feels like that gets brought up, but then it's just like, whatever, and that's and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like you say, she does bring it up. Yeah. But he says that she gets a half a million dollar salary in health insurance, and I guess it's Oh, fine. that's right, yeah. But I just I think the emotional uh, resonance isn't there because of how breakneck this issue is in terms of pacing. You don't get to sit with it. You read the issue. You forgot that even happened because there's just so much and so few space. It's such a small space. Mm -hmm. Um, So I would have I would have really liked more pages. But I will say I I did enjoy the uh, Emily's journal pieces. Mm. Um. I thought those were cool to kind of get a little bit more insight into what's going on in her mind. You know, the story's not about her, but it does help to get us in her brain a little bit. And, and give the background that we need for, you know, the, the f- fleshing out of the story. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> what did you guys think about the, the pages of the, the interviews? I'm assuming that those are with, those are, it's Emily speaking to all these different people. Um, what did you think of that? I like them. They were fun. They, it does. I don't think it does very much, but I think they were a cool trope to include. Yeah. I don't feel like it tells us much of anything that, uh, we didn't get out of the first issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, yeah, that was frustrating. I like the device, like Marco said, but it doesn't really feel um it's like additive yeah yeah additive yeah great yeah that's the exact word i was looking for 
Yeah, I agree. I think it ends well. The page where they're all saying you're dead. You know, mm-hmm, if you yeah. work with Newburn, that was cool. Um, but I really would have liked a little more. Like, for example, here's a good example, at least in my mind. Remember in uh, Heroes in Crisis, at least at the start of it, obviously we don't love that event. But those therapy pages, um, especially some of the earlier ones, were really good because, you know, they were structured similarly, but it was giving you an idea of like what hurts these characters and things like that. We learned something. Each one of those was built to expose a portion of that character that we normally don't get access to. And this didn't do that for Newburn. And Newburn's a new character. Batman's not new. Um, so Newburn needs, desperately needs for us to learn things about him. And to your point, we didn't learn anything new about him. You're dead if you work with him. Yeah, big shock. Look what he's involved in. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. So I wish that there would have been a little bit more. Maybe some of these people know him a little bit more intimately. I don't know. But that's what I would have enjoyed more, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm still into it, but I will say that my enthusiasm for this series took a nosedive. I'm not off of it yet. I think this is, you know, a second issue slump or something. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to come back for the third. Um, mm. Cause I think the first one hooked me so much on the the prospects of, well, one to Darsky two, uh, Phillips on art. And then three, the, the concept was just really cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'll give it this issue. If next one's okay, now I'll give it that issue. And then if, if it doesn't pick up by like the fourth or fifth, then I'm, I'm off it. That's about yeah. my rope too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm still in. I would like to see more in the mystery department. Yes. You know, like I said, I was, I was pretty disappoint, disappointed that the, the case is solved in pretty much the same way. Yeah. And this one as well as the last one, but I think I'm still here for it. I really like the concept. So yeah, yeah I'll, uh, I'll stick, I'll stick around for it. I also want to see some of the like bigger crime uh, elements who are the bosses. Like what yeah. is that? What is that world? Like we haven't seen that at all. It's kind of weird, um, but we're still, it's only issue two. There's a lot of time. So, you know, uh, like we said, we're on board still. Uh, I would still say pull it. Yeah. yeah. What about the uh, the backstory, Brooklyn Zirconia? You know what? I read it, man, but I I just I don't I. It's unfortunate. I hate that I'm like this, but when it comes to backstories, if it's not directly related to the main story, I I gloss over it. That was sort of my thing. Like I read it, and I remember the stuff from the last issue, but I'm sort of struggling with the relevance. Yep. You know, if it's just a backstory, I think I'd like a, a you know, a, a, another title or whatever that just happens to be in the back of Newburn. I think I'd like that's fine. I would like just a little bit more differentiation, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Did this tie into last issue's back matter? Yeah. Yeah. This is part two. Okay. I have to, I, I, I realized that I'm like, oh, I didn't. I don't remember what happened in that back matter. So mm. I didn't get a chance to go back and read it, but um, I, I think, I think that's hard to do like to keep up consistently. Cause you have to keep track of two stories. Um, and yeah, if, since it didn't tie into the main issue, I glossed over it and didn't have the, the, the thought, Oh, does this tie into something else until like hours later? That and that's the issue too. Like every single character here is new, right? Um, this is only the second issue, and so we're trying. My investment is in the new burn concept and those characters. It's hard to have that headspace for an entirely separate backstory that might relate, might not. Who knows? It's a slower burn, fewer pages. I don't retain that. I'm sorry. You know, yeah. there's too many comics that come out in a given week and other things. It's just tough. So, yeah. Um, but let's let's move on to Primordial number four. Uh, this is a book that we had a big conversation about uh, last time it dropped with issue three. And there was a lot of talk about how much we were enjoying it, but also how slow it was. And the realization that it was only going to be, I believe, six issues. Yep. Um, and so now 
fourth issue, two to go. How do you guys feel about how this one developed the story? Uh, by the way, of course, the creative team is Jeff Lemire, uh, Andrea Sorrentino, and Dave Stewart. This, uh, I, I've been I've been really excited for the past three issues. This one, I think, was a bit of a lull in mm. that the way it serves it serves the story in okay now we get what the scientists and i guess other scientists in uh russia are trying to do they they've they've somehow formulated a way to predict where these animals are going to be coming out of from whatever uh, i guess path they they took a what is it the the Bugs Bunny quote they took a wrong turn left turn at Albuquerque or something right like they they diverted off that that path and they've found out how to figure out where they are and now they need to bring them back mm-hmm. and that was cool that that was sort of explained um, a bit more detail to push that story but oh we lost Marco his uh, his internet strikes again <laughs> every time too he catches him right in the middle of the sentence I'm like. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> like I, I was kind of wanting to know what he was about to say. Okay, there we go. Marco, can you hear us? Yeah. All right. Uh, we lost you at some point there. Oh, uh, at what, what point? I've forgotten what you exactly were saying. The last thing I remember was they took the animals, took a left turn in Albuquerque, and the people are trying to figure out how to get them back. Oh, well, I was just going to say, and, and it's hard to build like an uh, emotional resonance for me to care about the animals and their story like it was cool seeing them transform and that concept is really interesting but now that they're trying to make their way back i'm not as invested in in that it doesn't feel like like cool abel and mrs baker and i'm friend and Laika are trying to come back and make it home like i don't i i, I realized that i didn't care i'm just like all right this is like fine and if if that's the story Okay, like the investment uh, in the high concepts, I hope they, I would have wanted them to keep exploring that. But if this is going to be like a rescue story now, I'm less interested in engaging. Marco confirmed hates animals. <laughs> and with two, and I have two cats and yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, we hate them Someone both. call the a- ASPCA. ASAP. Uh, I enjoyed this issue um first of all i had to do a triple take because will smith is in this comic book excuse me absolutely like if you look that's at, hilarious yeah look, look like look at him he looks the main character looks like will smith from the movie where he plays a doctor and he's dealing with cte oh yeah you're right 100 <laughs> percent. yeah yeah, I absolutely see that. And that's a radical shift because he ain't looked like no Will Smith in the prior issues. So I don't know what happened with that. But um, yeah, you know, I like the 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 story with the animals and stuff like that. I think um it's tough because the story feels like it wants me to think that the animals being there trapped in space like this is a sin of man, right? And I guess I feel like that. Like, damn, it sucks that they sent a dog to space. Um, <laughs> but in the grander scheme of everything that was going on at this time in human history, I feel like that's kind of small potatoes. And so what is the bigger hook, right? The bigger hook is that these animals have figured out a way to like travel through time, um, which is interesting, but it's so... Um, we don't know anything about that, right? Like we don't know how, we don't know why, we don't know anything. So I can't connect to that piece because there's nothing to connect to. And I yeah. care about the animals, but I don't understand what's happening to them. Mm-hmm. And there's been no movement in helping me understand that. So that's where I'm really struggling with this story. Yeah, it's it's sort of what I was getting at is just like, it's an interesting story, but there's not enough. Right. The art, I think it relies on the art in this abstract way, in sort of this 2001 Space Odyssey way to say something. But if you're not on that same level, like, what is it saying? Right. 
Right, and exactly. That's, that's extremely frustrating to me. I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting out of this. And that's the weird part. I like what I'm getting, but it's so abstract and weird that I don't I just don't understand it. And then the story that's happening on Earth feels irrelevant. I don't I, like what was why did we spend any time with these humans at all for, yeah. for all that? And why why do we keep going back? Yeah. They don't do anything like I feel, you know, at this point, I feel like we could have wrapped up that story issue one, maybe two. And let's figure out what the, the deal with the animals is. Yeah, but we st- we keep going back and I don't there's nothing there. It feels it feels forced. Hmm. Yeah, like there needed to be humans in the story in order to get people to connect to it because like the Transformers thing, you know, Um, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what their purpose is. And it's like, hey, I really like the dialogue with the dog and, you know, the different animals and stuff. I'm I'm into all that. But I would have preferred a story if you really want to tell a story just about these animals that got thrown into space. To your point, Kale, first issue. You do everything, introduce all that jazz. Maybe even you go into issue two with it. But from that point forward, let it be about these animals. Now we have two issues left, and I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm into the idea that now they've gone into the future somehow. But okay, so they're in the future, right? And then they come out, and they're on Earth, and they're just animals. And people are like, wow, look at these, look at this cute dog. The end? You know, like, what is the story of that? Well, and it, it also seems like the way they got to the future is by sleeping which is i mean to be fair how i would like to get to the future but (laughs) like you know they're just in their uh cryopods or whatever so like what's what's the point yeah yeah and maybe there's an element of this that's going over my head like i guess i'm open to that idea but I just don't, I don't understand what this is supposed to be. Well, and, yeah. I, I was just going to say the, the thing is that they traveled, they're somewhere farther away. Mm-hmm. Um, and so because they're farther away, that's how long it takes for whatever that radio ping to get to them. So oh. I think they get sent back to that time, but that's how long it took for that radio wave to hit them right where they are now. So, so they're not traveling. They've they've already traveled and they've already hit that future. And Got the, you. the spaceship or whatever is was bringing them back home location wise. Mm. Time wise, they're already wherever they were right. until the ping. And that's the transition of time. OK, yeah. Yeah, that 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 was pretty clear. Like, I, I couldn't have said it how you did, but yeah, absolutely. But again, that's like cool so now when they get to earth they're still just animals they can't talk right they can only think to each other they can use telepathy what does that mean Mm. you know um and i'm not saying i'm not interested in the answer i'm just saying that i wish that there was more forward momentum so that it made me anxious for that answer rather than frustrated by my lack of it Mm. and um to the point on you know the the story with the humans there's only of this book there's only six pages of any human interaction that's right six pages too many because nothing happens with them you know and the woman the woman says oh like us my pert my uh what did she say like us my like is mine like is my person something something of that something to that effect mm-hmm. um Okay, what does that mean? Like, you're really into your dog. I get it. Me too. My girl. Yeah. This, like is my this, girl. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're really into your dog. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I, 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 I resonate with that. But, you know, there's a lot of uh, like, you're literally going to be murdered. You know, like there's murderers coming for you right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be, if you want to be there for like, a, you better, I don't <laughs> you know, straighten up run. and fly right. Like, <laughs> exactly um other than the will smith part we didn't talk too much about the art the art's really good 
Um, I'm going to say, though, that I, I don't understand what I'm looking at a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Like anytime they're in space, I just don't fully get what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's uh, super abstract. Like, yeah, in, in, in this one, there's a lot of like harsh shapes now. Yeah. Every every issue there's like a new theme of something, and this one has a lot of sharp edges and yeah. like cuby looking things. I I wish I could see this book in in you know the its double page spreads. Mm. The way I, I don't know if it is this way for you guys, but I can only see one page at a time. Yeah, yeah. I'm you know I'm not sure that that would help my understanding, but. You know, I it it might help me. You know, take take in the awe of of the art a little more. It it absolutely was because like the second page here is a two page spread, and um, it it took me a while to actually figure out that each of the those panels are actually each of the animals. Yeah, and that's one of the problems with comics that are not made with digital in mind because this doesn't work and maybe it's just the way we have access to it to be fair i I think that's what it is yeah Yeah, because because primordial on comiXology shows the full spreads and all that stuff yeah because this just it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't make sense so yeah um i i've been buying it physical but obviously i'm not rereading it again um but now i'll I'll, to to that uh now that i've thought of it i'll go and and look because it probably looks a lot better too so you know um, I don't know what to say about this book. Ultimately, I don't know how to. Re- I can't recommend it. Like I like it, yeah. but I can't say that someone else should buy it, only because I don't know what you'll get out of it. If you love dogs, if you love monkeys, go buy it. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean the the Andrea Sordino art is incredible. Yes. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know the if you've you know if you've got if you've got the previous issues, you can certainly go back and look at those and and to be honest like they're <laughs> better than this one to me i don't know yeah this was the this was the the one that i was the least into yeah unfortunately um, so i don't know for me for me this is the point where i stop pulling uh hmm. i'm you know four out of f- four out of six or whatever and we're still wondering what the hell's going on uh, no thanks yeah fair enough All right, that's going to do it for our conversation here about this week's image books. If there are image comics that you want us to read that we are not, write in and let us know. There are a ton of ways for you to get in contact with us. We're on social media at The Comics Pals. Write in at thecomicspals at gmail.com. Join our Discord server, a link to which is in the description. Uh, Hit us up on YouTube. You guys are great about that. Leave us a comment in the comment section. We will respond on our main show, which drops every Monday. This week, we actually interviewed Jeremy Holt writer of Made in Korea, a book that we have loved. We reviewed issue six last week, in fact. So check that out. Uh, Pre-order the Made in Korea trade, which drops January 26. It'll help them out a lot, I'm sure. Uh, Listen to our reviews for Marvel and DC and everything else, maybe even King Spawn. Who knows? Tune in to find out. Uh, Thank you so much for listening. Thank you to Image for providing us with these review copies. Until next week, I'm Sean for Marco and Kale saying take care, guys.